Hello, I'm Motelli Edwards and a warm welcome to Singapore Tonight. Mega Church City Harvest Church may have run afoul of the law over possible financial irreg irregularities. Mediacorp understands that it's currently being investigated over the misuse of church funds. Our reporter, Ho Yini, joins us now from the newsroom to tell us more. Yini? Well, Tali, the Commercial Affairs Department and the Commission of Charities gave the bare facts in a short joint statement at about 2.30 p.m. Now, in four brief paragraphs, they said individuals and companies linked to the church are being probed. Now, they said complaints had been made to the charity's watchdog that there was misuse of funds, and the matter was then referred to the CAD. My colleague, Evelyn Chu, with more. Officers from the Commercial Affairs Department arrived at the offices of City Harvest Church this morning to question individuals connected with the case. They also took financial records and accounts of the company. Now, it's believed that 12 people are currently being questioned by officials from the Commercial Affairs Department, and this includes Mr. Kong Hee, the founding member of the church, who is also the pastor. City Harvest is the biggest church in Singapore, with a congregation of over 30,000 members who regularly pack its sermons at Jurong West and the Singapore Expo. The church's reach online is even greater, and much of it is driven by its charismatic founder, Pastor Kong Hee. It's not the first time City Harvest Church has made headlines. It was just in April that eyebrows were raised over its $310 million stake in Suntec City Convention Center. And the Commissioner of Charities was called in to investigate. In a statement to Mediacorp, the charity's watchdog stressed that this round of investigations is not related to the earlier Suntec case. It added that the case involved more than just City Harvest and included companies and individuals connected with the church. And that's why it says the police had to be involved. Depending on the findings, the charity's trustee may be suspended. On the City Harvest website, a notice to members stated that the church was cooperating fully with investigations and that services and operations would continue as usual. Mediacorp understands the church has engaged Christina Ng from law firm Raja and Tan to represent them. Now, Tali, we don't know at this point how serious these alleged financial irregularities are, but it may be worth noting in the context of the case that in 2005, Pastor Kong Hee had publicly announced that he had taken himself off the church's payroll. Now, the charity sector has been hit by scandals before. The National Kidney Foundation and Ren Tzu were just two of the more high-profile cases in recent years. And in fact, it was the NKF saga in 2005 that led to a revision of the Charities Act, which gave the charity's watchdog more teeth, and it demonstrated its bite with the Rensi case not long afterwards. Now, in 2007, investigations into Rensi took over three months, and it could be as long or even longer before we get the full picture on what's wrong with City Harvest. Back to you, Otelli. Many thanks for that, Yini. And that was a reporter, Ho Yini, on investigations into City Harvest Church. Moving along, the Mary.